My dear friends, in this video, we are going to learn that how can we delete a record of a student from the database. We have got a form over here. In this form, user is going to provide the ID number, and that ID number is going to match with the ID number given in this ID number column. And on the basis of the ID number that is going to match with the student detail, that specific record will be deleted. How is that going to happen? We are going to explain in this particular video. Before going to this HTML form, let us see the delete PHP application as a two line of code that we have written. So let me just show you what we actually have done. The first line is going to create the connection. So we are going to create a connection using the function name MySQLI. So we are creating the object of MySQLI for creating the connection with the database. So the database that we have that is test database. So inside the test database, we have got this table STU registration. So we are going to connect with this database that is test. Now how can we connect to this database? To connect to this database, we need the username and the password. The username is root and the password has not been set. That is why it is in blank. Now you will get it over here. Just let me show you it is here. So the local host server that we are using here is the local host server and the user is root and password hasn't been set. Right. So that is how we are going to connect uh, with the database test. So f these four parameters have been passed inside this MySQLI function to create a connection of this MySQLI connection object that I have created and the connection will be stored in this variable that we have created con variable. Now in the next line what we have done so using that connection which we have created we are going to execute a query right. and which uh, query are we going to execute that is a simple delete query so delete from this table that is stu registration and we have also given condition that is where this id number is going to match with this value so let us execute so let me show you this id number to match with uh, the records over here now now you can see this particular record i'm going to delete first by executing that php application the record of the hanita sun so let me just execute this application first that is the file name is delete.php i'm going to execute this file now so after uh, executing that particular file let me again refresh this database table now after refreshing the database table you can see that record has been deleted you can't see that record now the same thing we are going to execute through this delete form so you can see a form we have created for deleting student record so delete detail form that we have created for deleting students record so user have to provide the other number so let me find the other number so let's say we are going to delete this record that is show gotham khaji so the other number of Sogoto Mukaji we have to give over here so user is going to give the other number of the candidate which record is to be deleted from the database now what exactly is to be happened let me show you so for doing that we just have to get the data so let me just explain it to you here we have got the form that form which we have designed so so the action will be taken to delete.php page and method will be used as post method and this uh, input is going to accept the other number from the user on the basis of which record is going to be deleted from the database and the name space that have been used over here that is other so by this namespace other it is going to be recognized so i will write here so by the push method we are going to accept the value from that will be passed through this action uh, of this namespace other so this value is going to be carried to this particular page that is delete.php that will be accepted using the post method and the same will be stored inside this variable other that we have taken and now this variable i will put it over here inside of writing the exact id number i'm going to put the variable so whatever value user is going to provide over there that will be that uh, will be taken here that will be carried over here right and that specific record will be deleted very simple just three lines of code right now let me execute now i'm going to delete this record so let me show you so we are going to delete this particular record let me show you so so go to mukhaji record so this other number we have provided here now let me click the submit button right now let me check that uh, that this particular record has been deleted or not for doing that i will just refresh and uh, let me check now you can see that record has been deleted. now again i'm going to delete this record that is ravindra singh so let me copy the other number the same i'm going to delete so i'm going to delete the record of ravindra singh so let me click the submit button now let me see let me refresh the database now i can see the record of ravindra singh has been deleted that is how we are going to execute the delete query so you can see two files we have created in the first file we have created the html form right and in this form what we have done we have just have got a one input which is going to accept the id number and that id number must matches with the id number given over and that specific record we are going to delete through the application and in the delete.php we are going to carry the data to the variable and this variable I have taken to store the values of the post variable that will be carried from the form and in this delete query which we have executed i will 
just keep the value of the variable so this value will be taken over here through the variable and that record will be deleted so i hope you have understood so in the previous lecture i have also shown you how to insert data in, into the database through the registration form how can someone fetch data from the database and the same can be printed on the html page to the user end and also we have learned how to update the database table on the basis of some detail that will be provided through the form from the user end everything we have learned previous lecture so if you have not seen those particular lectures i will give link of those video in the description of this video and like this video click the like button share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing to my channel thank you and goodbye for today